Good morning. This is Bill from Audi Europa Naples, and today I'm lucky enough to have one of my favorite Mercedes-Benz products of all time finished in one of my favorite Mercedes-Benz colors of all time. This is a 1981 Mercedes-Benz 300D. Uh, it's a W123 chassis. Some would argue it may be the finest Mercedes-Benz ever made, at least in terms of its uh, of its machining, of its build quality, of its utility. Uh, it is indestructible. I mean, this thing is unbelievable in terms of the way you can rack up miles, go forever, uh, service it, drive it. It is one of the finest engineered cars of all time. Uh, you know, it sounds grandiose, but damn it if it isn't true. So uh, have a look at that silver blue metallic. What a gorgeous, gorgeous color. You know, when I was kind of a young man, a <clears throat> very young man, in fact, I was probably 12 or 13, a good friend of mine, uh, his parents were kind of well-to-do, and his mom had an 83 uh, 380SL finished in this color, and it was the first car I was intimate with. And you get your minds out of the gutter, you know what I mean. It was the, the first Mercedes that I sort of, you know, was able to poke around and, you know, drive in and have fun with. And, uh, you know, it was in this color, and I just thought it was the most beautiful shade of silver blue. You could almost have a fist fight over whether it was silver or whether it was blue. And uh, in fact, my friend and I did, and he was kind of a tougher guy, so he took me out. But uh, I still think I should have won the argument. It is blue. <laughs> it is not silver. If it's got any blue in there at all, then it's blue. Uh, anyway, you can see the beautiful chrome around the windows, the chrome bumpers, the chrome trim, uh, the stout sort of stodgy, you know, stand-up design. It is a uh, just a beautiful look. It was built by, or sorry, penned by Bruno Sacco, again, the great Mercedes designer. This one has a couple of things. I rushed to the gun on photos. We got a new fog light coming. That one had water incursion, so don't let that trouble you. Also down low, we've got a little trim piece that we're tracking down, so that'll be on there soon. But uh, otherwise, this is a very, very stand-up car. 105,000 miles, extremely nice inside and out, no corrosion anywhere. It's got those beautiful Mercedes caps. This is the five-cylinder turbo model, or sorry, five-cylinder non-turbo model, which in some ways is the best of both worlds. Look at that big trunk. Uh, you can fit a bunch of stuff in there, very nice size, and lots of utility. Uh, as I was saying, the five-cylinder non-turbo uh, gives you a lot more juice than the four-cylinder non-turbo in the 240D without the uh, added heat and maintenance under the hood of the 300D turbo. So it's, uh, it's a pretty great engine. And wait till you see the condition under here. Everything's harder to do one-handed, I'll tell you that. Cars are not made for amputees. Um, Look at that. Look how clean it is, how nice, how well preserved. You can tell this is a Florida car. Never seen the salty winters. Uh, everything under the hood is exceptional. No corrosion. Look at that thing. Looks like it's fresh out of a U boat. I mean, it is just the pinnacle of German engineering. The power steering cap. I mean, good God. That, again, like it came from a tank. Uh, here is a gasoline spin-on filter for the diesel. Uh, over there, you've got a real incredible housing for a uh, inserted oil filter. It is an amazing machine, and you can just see that from looking at it. Even in the way the uh, the linkages are with the balls and the caps, it's just beautiful. What's that big stop button? Ah, stop, okay. Well, diesels all run on vacuum, so uh, to shut a diesel off, you need to have vacuum. If, God forbid, the uh, vacuum starts leaking, you can turn the key off, the vacuum pump won't stop the motor, it's just running, running. You can press that guy down, it'll cut off the fuel supply and, uh, and stop the car from running. So a nice little added safety feature for a Mercedes. Anyway, everything nice and proper under the hood, very serviceable, uh, just an absolutely beautiful car. <clears throat> very quickly, I'll show you the um, Mercedes-Benz service position. Now, this is how far thinking these people were. When you flip down that little lever, pull it up, and push high, have a look at that. Now you can really service your car. So if you need to lash the valves or do some kind of an adjustment, very, very easy to do uh, without getting your head banged on the top of the hood. Pretty neat feature. Does make a scary noise when you use it though. Uh, there's beautiful chrome around the windshield, beautiful chrome vents, beautiful chrome mirrors. I just love this car. 
All right, let's hop in and go for a spin. Here in the back seat, you can see everything is very nice and proper as it should be. These nets are nice and tight up here. The first aid kit uh, is not broken and smashed. Let's see if we can get in there. Nah, no first aid kit, but at least the pouch is still there. Up here, you can see the beautiful seats. Very, very comfy, very springy. Uh, I was showing uh, a friend of mine yesterday uh, the incredible accessory cup holders in this car. Now, I know you're laughing, but uh, it took Mercedes-Benz a very long time to get cup holders going. And uh, in the meantime, the accessory department would give you these things and bolt them in. They're like 60 bucks each. They're real money. Nice to see both of them installed on this car. It shows you whoever owned it back in the day really loved it. Here you can see the MB Tech seats. That is Mercedes' very impressive version of vinyl. It is indestructible, indestructible. Uh, if there's ever a nuclear holocaust, there'll be cockroaches left and there will be MB Techs. That will still be around. Let's hop in and see what happens. So when I turn the key, I got our glow plug light here. When that goes out, we can light off that diesel. And you see how quick it fires to life, how quick the, uh, the oil pressure shoots up when you're on the gas. And there we go. Let's close our door. All right, unfortunately, someone replaced the backer with a CD player, but it is nice for, um, you know, modernity. Uh, we do have air conditioning, get that going. You can see the blue dash is in great shape. Very, very nice, uh, unusually clean. Couple little cracks, but for a blue dash, it's a miracle. Uh, the wood, that is real wood, lumber, very nice shape all around, everything proper. Power windows, they work well up and down. Even the window switches in this car are serviceable. So if one goes, you don't really replace them. You just pull it out, take it apart, clean it, and put it back together. That is the miraculous uh, nature of this 123 engineering. The whole car is built to be maintained and essentially run forever. And away we go. So nice smooth shifting from the automatic, very nice feel from the wheel. Again, I mean, this car was designed to be a workhorse. They could go hundreds of thousands of miles, uh, you know, needing only minor standard maintenance. Uh, they were used by a lot of taxi services in Europe, of course, stripped down versions. Uh, even though they're very expensive, you could run them for a very long time and you could run them 24 hours on different shifts and they would just keep going and going and going. So they paid for themselves and turned a profit as time went on. Uh, what can I tell you? This again, 81 300D, 105,000 miles, exceptional condition, very, very clean, very solid car. Um, you know, if you like to tinker, there's a few things on that you can tinker on to make it perfect, but you are starting with a, you know, 88 to 92 percent car, and that's the most fun. I like the foo foo stuff, I don't like the heavy lifting, so terrific, terrific car to uh, fool around with for the casual car guy. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call, 239-649-7300. That's 239-649-7300. What is the matter with me? I'll say it again, 239-649-7300. On the web at MercedesExpert.com. I'm an expert in Mercedes, but I don't know my own damn phone number. Anyway, there it is. Uh, appreciate you having a look today, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.